We're going to jump to a quick video, then we're going to bring uh, one of your uh, alumni here, uh, who's a, a great IBMer, somebody that I've had a great pleasure to get to know and consider a, a true friend. Um, he, he, uh, we, 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 I think when we've had the chance to meet, uh, we're always a bit crazy, you know, we're always coming from different areas, but um, when we just get the chance to get down, just to sit and talk over, you know, a bite to eat or a drink or something, we realize how much we have in common and what we're dealing with on a daily basis. So it's always good to see and meet with these different IBMers, even if they sit in different uh, parts of IBM. So. If you take a thousand pictures with the Hubble telescope, there will be one little dot that stays there on each of the thousand pictures. That little dot is a distant galaxy. That's what we need to do in genomics now. Take a thousand bits of information, most of which is noise, and overlay it on each other. IBM Watson will allow us to see the needle in the haystack that's driving a disease. My vision for the perfect fan experience is all of the aspects of getting into the stadium are as streamlined as possible. Cloud computing enables us to take all of these data points and connect them all so that we can create a smarter stadium. We're targeting that one season ticket member as if he or she was the only one there amidst the 75,000. In the past, teachers only had a chalkboard, pencil, paper, and sometimes a TV. That was all they had. But these days, they have so many devices that they can provide to the students. Teachers should not worry about technology. They just need to teach. physicality of super rugby, you know, the strain on the bodies, you know, the immense amount of work that goes into keeping these athletes on the field is crucial. We collect 140 data points on each player every day. We thought a large majority of injuries just happened. Now we know we can prevent them and predict them. Data is everywhere. It's in everything. The things we take for granted that surround us, the way we design things, the way we make them, the way we test them, the way we buy them, all of this will come down to data. And that's why this change is so profound. Historically, you know, when we thought about security, we had to protect the perimeter. Kind of like the metaphor of a castle, right? Well, with mobile and cloud, there is no wall. We're all traveling around with our data with us all the time. And as your data, your applications are now out in the open, they need to have security built in by design. Ultimately, you need a system that protects you not only from your worst enemy, but the inadvertent actions of your best employee. With the use of real-time data from around the world, we are able to respond very quickly to market trends like fat skis and really produce what the people want. A few years ago, it was not possible. This kind of uh, skiing is certainly making people happy, and this is what we try to deliver to people, this happiness. It's one of the most beautiful things you can do. We want to service a customer the way that the customer chooses. So if she chooses to shop with her phone, we're going to be there. If she chooses to shop online, we're going to be there. If she chooses to come into the store or experience us in all three ways, you know, that's part of our job and our relationship. It's individualized. It's specific to you, the customer. We all buy apps, lots of them. 
But for every 10 apps we download, eight are used once, then deleted. So how are you feeling about your app? Mobile analytics can help you craft content your customers can't live without. Throughout human history, every generation is giving a new set of tools. The world is making things in new ways. With big data, we will be able to make detailed maps of the universe. The idea of creative computing is for machines and humans to work together. We used to use intuition, and now we use analytics. Social technology made us not just a bunch of ships, but one fleet. Big data generates that possibility. To create a far more efficient system in terms of power generation. And we give music creation for the masses. We have 12 million data points and growing from the zoo. That's what we need to do in genomics. Teachers just need to teach. IBM Watson can help doctors. Discoveries. Recipes. Insights. Better products. Once you know. You can't unknow. It's a good day to make something new. All right. We're all experts at what IBM does now? <laughs> Pretty much do it all. You get the opportunity to work with them in every industry and uh, affect the outcomes of cities, governments, companies, our partners, our clients, and it's in every industry you can think of. I, we even do stuff in mining. What in the world does IBM do in the world of mining, right? One of my favorites, of course, is because I'm a huge, uh, huge Mocha fan, is um, uh, chocolate and the cacao plant and some of the things we're doing with the Mars Corporation and mapping the genome. Imagine this world without good, healthy strains of chocolate. Uh, not a world I want to live in. So um, I'm going to bring up, as I was mentioning, um, a friend of mine here. And uh, he is also an alumni uh, of UCI. And he's on some boards here. And one of the probably the best advocate for UCI students. Um, Neil Sohota, would you mind coming on up? Sure. So, uh, Brian, could you come help me here? I'm not a Mac guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you can get to the other. Sorry, guys. I'm not definitely not a Mac person. And uh, Neil's going to talk to you about his experience as a part of the Corporate Service Corps, which is one of the. You know what? I'll let him explain it to you. Thank, thanks, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look a little lethargic. Is everyone okay? They <laughs> just ate. Just ate. <laughs> I I know. Um, how many people here like opportunity? Okay, seems like almost everybody. Um, you know what? Say the word opportunity for me. Opportunity. Say it like you mean it. Opportunity. opportunity. All right. People ask me, why do I work at IBM? What really sets it apart? And the truth is, is opportunity. It's the one company where you can actually do a whole variety of things. You can have three, four different careers in one company. If you want to try and do something, if you're looking for a new opportunity, you can make it happen in IBM. And one of the things that IBM does to enable that is empower us and provide us with unique opportunities to develop ourselves. And one of those programs is called the Corporate Service Corps. Has anyone ever heard of it before? There's a couple of people. I'm not going to ask the IBMers, but I'll ask you, what, what is the Corporate Service Corps? Uh, I used to work for IBM, so. Oh, <laughs> so you, got to you got an insi insider here. <laughs> How many people have heard of the Peace Corps? What does the Peace Corps do? Volunteer. Volunteer work, like what kind of volunteer work? They go to different countries and uh, help. Yeah, so they send you out to some other country and you do some volunteer community service type of work. Well, IBM is a very big proponent of community service. And we do like millions of hours of give back every year. And Corporate Service Corps is our version of the Peace Corps. And the reason we do it is threefold. One, we're providing value to whatever emerging market we're going to, right? We're doing something to help them. Two, we're developing our own people, right? How many people, you always hear that the world's becoming a smaller place. Do you believe that? Yeah. yeah. Odds are you're gonna be working with people from different, different countries, different backgrounds, different ways of thinking. And that's a challenge, right? We, everyone has the predisposition that People will think and act as I do, and that's never true, right? So how do you work with somebody from a different culture? Well, Corporate Service Corps helps people learn that because 
It's a full immersion program. You're basically dropped into uh, an emerging market. So I was lucky enough to be selected. I went to China, and I'm not in Shanghai. I'm not in Beijing. I'm in the real China. I'm out in the rural part, seeing what life is like in tr traditional Chinese culture. And it's a sink or swim time. Either you you learn, you adapt, you understand, or you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna fail. But IBM doesn't just send anybody to these programs, but I learned a lot about Chinese culture, I learned a lot about their business practices, I learned their traditions, their customs, and why they think the way that they do. And now that when I work with people in China, I have a very easy time of it because I know where they're coming from. So that's a huge investment in my growth that IBM made. The third thing is, you know, IBM is very big about leadership development, and they recognize that we have to build the leaders tomorrow, today, and they do it through this program. So you have to have that global experience, you have to show you can problem solve, show you can work really well in an unstructured environment. So this program has been around for, it's in its sixth year now. Only the, t only the top 500 IBMers get selected every year. We're a company of 450,000 people. Think about that, you know? The, IBM makes a huge investment. They pull you out of your regular job, send you to one of these locations for a month, and you're off doing something that's completely different than what you normally do. But I will tell you, it is the most rewarding experience I've ever had at IBM. I learned a lot, made a lot of good friends, and I wouldn't trade for anything. And my only regret is, you can only do it once. <laughs> <laughs> so if you do wind up working for IBM, I highly encourage you to participate in the program. It is one of those life-changing events. But this is just one example of the things that IBM provides to its employees. It's a company that really invests in people's growth and wants to make not just the company better, not just our clients and partners better, but you guys as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.